Hi friends, welcome back to Scratch Skills. In today's video, we'll be making a start button in Scratch. A start button is something that you use to start a project in Scratch other than the green flag. Of course, when we do our normal projects, we always use that green flag to start it or something. Now, for example, I'll show you. When green flag clicked, we wanted to go to a position. I'll just keep Y7 or seven seven okay and i'm gonna click it and then he then the cat goes up see only on that position the cat goes up whenever i click the green flag now clicking the green flag is not only the way that we can start projects there are also some codes that let you start a project when you click a sprite or anything on the screen I have seen that in popular games and it's pretty hard to make so I made an easy tutorial about this so stick around let's do this. We're going to use the same old cat and the same old code so that we can join with it and then we're going to go get a button looking sprite. It can be anything you want any of these three I'll just take this one and then I'm going to costumes and you can make it your favorite color. Let me tell you um, the most common color used for the start buttons are green because it indicates a star that's what I have heard of and I've seen many um, like most of the start buttons in green and end buttons in red if you want an end button comment in the next uh, comment in this video and my next video will be an end button <laughs> okay then you can use a font and write in star like so and that's gonna be our button we've got our button ready so that's good now we can go ahead in the button and when we in fact clicked we want it to stay probably there and when we in fact click we want this guy to go to zero zero after this we want this guy to go to that position we have placed him and then when the sprite is clicked, you want it to broadcast message one is fine, but just for explanation, I'm gonna write another one called a start. Click OK and pretty much that's it. Oh and of course you can also use if you're editing like a little nice thing to it, so add ghost effect. I'm gonna put that forever block and let's see what this does. Okay, that was pretty fast, so I'm going to reduce it to 5. Okay, good. The X can be a bit too 12. And I want it to be like here. Yeah, minus 9. That will be. That's not. Just put that. Good okay now and then we're gonna go back here and then we're gonna put a block that says when I receive start I'm gonna start uh, then you can write under this block of code whatever you want to write it can be anything so I can put um, for now I'll put glide to random position forever and then just to add a bit more blinch I'm just gonna change keep changing color so now let's see now I started the program with the green flag but nothing much has happened but after I click the start button the program has started to move and it's going pretty good well this was it for today's video guys hope you guys liked it do subscribe like and share for many more videos like this bye guys